Why not just bring only one travel commuter when you are traveling around the world? So in today's video, we are going to show you one product of Doestat for you to travel around the world. Wanna know? Stay tuned. So let's see first what's inside this box of our Dose to SC11 travel converters. So we got uh, the main converter right here. And we have the head for uh, Great Britain, Hong Kong. And the head for Australia, China. And then the last one would be the one you can use in Middle East and Europe. Also, they have uh, a packing bag inside the box. So this is the Doas C11 travel converter. So questions number one, when and how to use an adapter. So the Doas C11 travel converter is very easy to use. So for example, right now I'm traveling with my cell phone, my laptop, my pad and my camera in Australia. So it's very easy. I just need to choose the right hat for Australia. Then I just easily just plug in. Then I can charge directly. So do I need to worry about damaging my uh, cell phone, my laptop or my uh, electronic string, the chips by using adapter directly? Um, generally speaking, you don't need to worry about that because most of the electronics, uh, our laptop, our I iPad, our camera, our cell phones, they are already set up to use in different countries because they have a very wide uh, voltage range. So you don't need to worry about using the adapter directly. So in most of the hotels, that they only have only one outlet, but sometimes I want to save time, I want to charge my cell phone and my laptop, my camera at the same time. So uh, still the same, uh, in Australia, we can actually plug in here, choose the hat for Australia. Then I could use the outlet at the top here to charge my cell phone. Around the same time, I can also use the USB ports right here. They have two USB ports to actually charge. So I can charge my cell phone here and then I can charge my camera here. Then at the top, I can charge my laptop. So you can save so much time by charging your ele electronics devices at the same time because I guess most of the hotels all around the world, they only have one outlet. So they would, I mean, basically will save you a lot of time during your trip. So this is how and uh, when to use the adapters, uh, the SC11 converter. So question number two, I mean, many customers ask, could I actually use the converter to use my electric mechanical products? So let me give you some examples. Your hair strainer and your hair dryer. Basically, I don't bring them during my trip, but some people do. So I'm gonna give you some tips. So most of those electric mechanical products like your hair strainer and your hair dryer, they they have their own voltage range. So for example, most of the these devices you buy in the US, uh, their voltage range is between 100 volt to 127 volts. So when you're traveling in other countries, like when you're traveling to China, if you, you don't use the converter, it will actually damage your devices. And even worse, it will cause fire. You don't want to cause fire in your trip, right? So actually the converter itself will actually turn up and down uh, the voltage and then uh, for your devices. So in that case, it would not damage your devices and it will be much safer to use the converter and then to use your hair dryer and your hair, hair strainer or your iron, this kind of like uh, electromechanical product. So next I'm gonna show you how to use the, the, the SC11 converter to use your hair strainer in a hair dryer. So right now, uh, I'm gonna use my hair strainer. Yeah, for myself. So, uh, I need to get the right hat for Thailand. 
easy directly. Well, you can, but it will definitely burn or damage your hair strainer. Of course not. So, the right way to use the converter would be actually use the outlet in the middle. So tip number one, when you're using the FC 11 converter, when you're using the converter, you can only and should only use the converter outlets in the middle. So you can see right here is AC converter 220 volt to 110 volts right here. So you just need to plug in and then choose the right half. So for example, right now I'm in Thailand. So I plug in here. Then you can use your hair strainer. And this is the way you should and you can only use the converter safely. Are the converters designed for older electromechanical products? Yes, but remember, mechanical will be the point. So what if some hair strainer and hair dryer with a small chip inside? Uh, for them, I don't suggest you to use the converter because those devices have small chips inside. That means they are too small. The converter cannot actually stay down the voltage. So in that case, it might actually damage your devices and it's not safe to use it. So for those devices with small chips, I would suggest you not to actually use the converter by just like using them only in the US, but not taking them to trouble. So question number three, what should I pay attention to when I actually using the DOS C11 travel converter? So tip number one, always unplug your chargers when you finish charging and you are not charging your devices, no matter you are using adapter or converter. It's not safe to keep it plugged in the whole time. When you are not using it, just unplug. The tips number two would be when you are actually traveling, uh, always pack it. Always pack it because you have three hacks right here for different kind of country and area. So when you are not using it, always pack it well and actually put it in your backpack or your suitcase. Because once you lose uh, uh, one hat, you have to spend money to buy a new one. So, I mean, you should always take good care of them. This is all for the video today. So if I forgot to mention any of the questions about our DOS C11 travel converter, please comment down below to let me know. So also, if you would like to know more tech gadgets of DOS tech, you can follow our channel and I will see you in our next video. Goodbye.